the average American can do very little insofar as digging communist espionage agents out of our government is concerned. The thing that the American people can do is to be vigilant day and night to make sure they don't have communists teaching the sons and daughters of America. Now I realize that the minute anyone tries to get a communist out of a college, out of a university, there will be raised the phony cry that you're interfering with academic freedom. I would like to emphasize that there is no academic freedom where a communist is concerned. I may say, uh, Mr. Jenkins, I don't care how much of a screwball or a crackpot any professor or teacher may be, as long as he or she is a free agent. But once, once you have this United States, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, covered with a network, a network of professors and teachers, who are getting their orders from an organization that wants to destroy this nation, that wants to corrupt the minds of youth, then, Mr. Jenkins, we are rapidly losing the battle. The thing that I think we must remember is that this is a war, Christianity which has been in existence for 2,000 years, has not converted, convinced nearly as many people as this communist brutalitarianism has enslaved in 106 years. I know that many of my uh, good friends uh, seem to feel that this is sort of a game you can play. If we, unless we, make sure that there is no infiltration of our government, then just as certain as you sit there, you will see a red world. Mr. Jenkins, anyone and who can add two and two will tell you that there is no remote possibility of this war which we're in today, and it's a war, no remote possibility of this ending except by victory or by death for this civilization.